Hello, hello. It is a little bit later in the month than I wanted it to be to open palletful packs. I have been gone eight days so far, and it's only the 14th. And I have 10 more days that I'm going to be gone. But we're going to get into this and see what is in the box this month. I am very excited. In we go. Ta-da. Holbein acrylic gouache, which is basically acrylic that dries matte, which is kind of meh. <laughs> if I didn't know that it was just acrylic that dries matte, I would be more excited because regular gouache is reworkable. Acrylic gouache is just like acrylic paint that dries matte. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, good brand, very expensive stuff. So let's see what else we have. Ooh, very nice Princeton Select flat wash brush. I've been very happy with any Princeton Select brush that I've received so far. They seem to be really good quality. Another, oh, this is a different brand, Robert Simmons Expressions, round five. Very nice. Feels good. Ooh, a Derwent Graphic HB. Most people like these pencils. A Kneaded Eraser by Prismacolor. Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press by Legion. This is nice paper. This one is pretty thin. Does it say? No. I would guess 90 pounds. And it, it's all... The Watercolor Boards by Crescent. I am not too thrilled with Crescent products so far, but let's try these out and see because watercolor boards work really good for acrylics as well. Before we get started, I have some Holbein acrylic gouache, and let's go get those out and see what they look like compared to these. This says acrylic gouache. Mine say acrylic gouache. But mine are very old. I got these quite a long time ago. So I assume they're the same thing. But let's check out the colors. So Carmine, Lemon Yellow, Sky Blue Jet, Black, Titanium White. I have Primary White, Primary Black, Primary Cyan, Primary Yellow, and Primary Magenta. So these are different colors. In fact, this would probably be a good time to test the RYB compared to the CYM because I have cyan, yellow, and magenta, and I guess carmine is red. I think carmine leans a little bit orange, so this could be interesting. Lemon yellow and sky blue. So we might compare these in this video. I was just gonna use the ones I already had, but the colors are so different that we'll keep them all and play and compare. Let's take a look at these. These are what these look like open. They're obviously larger bottles, 20 mils versus 12 mils. This titanium white is a PW6, and this primary white is PW6. So the same pigment, we'll see if they're any different or not. So that's those. The jet blacks are a different pigment. So this is PBK1 over here on my right hand, and in the left hand, primary black is PBK7. So we have a PBK1 here versus a PBK7. Sky blue. Now this is one I find interesting because they are the exact same pigment. One is called sky blue, one is called primary cyan, and the pigment is PB15 in either one of these. However, the last two are different. Let's look at these. We have carmine and primary magenta. The carmine is PR170, and the primary magenta here is PR122. So these should be quite different than each other. The lemon yellow versus the primary yellow is PY3, and this is also PY3, however, it also has 74 in it. Does that mean PY74? I guess, I assume so, PY3 and PY74, and this one is just PY3. Let's see what the prompts are for this month. We'll click on Premier Pack because that is the one that I received. And you can see here the MSRP for those were $21.25 for the acrylic paint, acrylic wash. <laughs> Watercolor board, $12.57, ouch. Little paper, $1.99. The brush, three quarter inch flat, $13.50. $8 for the Robert Simmons brush. $2.06 for the Derwent graphic pencil. $1.30 for the kneaded eraser. And it says there was a six well paint tray in there for $1.09, but I did not receive that. And that is just fine. I do not need it. 
Our prompts are fantasy, dinner, library, and cottage. All right, let's see what we can do with that. I had just a few days before this watched Casey Golden's video where she did this comparison between the cyan magenta yellow and the whatever they are that I still can't say. Anyway, <laughs> that would be blue, red, yellow. Anyway, the point is that I was totally influenced by her video and I loved the way she did her circles and overlapped them and mixed the colors. So I did exactly the same thing. And I followed her lead later in this video too by splitting my art piece down the center and doing one side with one set of colors and the other side with the other set of colors. And while this palette full packs would have been fine just with the supplies in it, I was glad that I had these other colors because it just made it that much more interesting for me to do and I enjoyed that. So when I was doing these colors, I didn't notice any difference in the way they felt when I was laying them down on this watercolor board. And I did sacrifice one of the boards, by the way, for this part of it because eh, I'm not too thrilled with the boards anyway, so might as well use them up. And there's the cat meowing. I think he's going to meow in every one of my videos, so I guess you guys can just enjoy it, I hope. <laughs> So these two boxes do say exactly the same thing on them. It's acrylic polymer, <laughs> try that again, acrylic polymer emulsion opaque colors. Both boxes say exactly those words, so it's my opinion that they are exactly the same paint, even though one box says acrylic and one says acrylic. And you can see in the purples there, I just added some white so you could see the differences more. And here, I just drew my little sketch on regular copy paper and then use graphite transfer paper to transfer it to the, a new watercolor board. And this is where the acrylic uh, fun <laughs> starts. Man, I don't know. Me and acrylics, sometimes I think, oh, acrylics are going to be so much fun. And then I actually go and use them and I'm like, <laughs> but I know there's so many people out there that absolutely love acrylics and use them very successfully. Painting is one of them. She's great with acrylics. There's so many others out there. I can't even remember all their names right now, but man, more power to you guys who use acrylics because it's a tough medium. And I made the mistake of not pulling out my Stay Wet palette. And I thought about pulling it out and using it. And I thought, oh no, this is just a quick little sketch painting. No big deal. I'll just use this wax paper palette that I've had for decades. And Oh, what a mistake that was. <laughs> this paint dries like instantly. And I had to keep pouring out more and more yellow because all of the mixes that I used needed yellow. And I pretty much, I probably went through more than half of that little bottle of yellow that came in the palette full packs box. Oh well, that's okay. So you guys get this box and you haven't used it yet. If you don't have a Stay Wet palette, then at least put a wet paper towel under your paints like you might see Sarah Burns do in Sarah Burns Studio. And that works pretty well too. But if you have your Stay Wet palette, be a lazy idiot like me. Get it out and use it. You will be so much happier. And the interesting part was when I moved to this side, this was the side of the paint that I already had. And when I did the circle with them, they felt exactly the same. But when I started painting in this bigger format, they felt quite a bit different, actually. You know how you get a cheap watercolor paint and it feels like it's kind of making streaks on the paper and like things don't soak in and it's kind of plasticky feeling? That's kind of how this felt. So it made me very curious if the ancient paint that I have and the one that we just got in palette packs are actually two different, well, what do you call that, formulations. Like if Holbein has actually changed their formulation a little bit better and improved it because I felt that the side that came with palette full packs box, that paint was actually a little easier to work with. Okay, let's pull the tape and see what we ended up with. Should be interesting. I'm a little nervous about the tape pulling because it seems kind of strong. Oh, my cloud didn't quite line up. That's okay. Ah, interesting. So a few things not lined up. That's what I found difficult about the tape being down there was that I could not see what was on the other side. So like getting things lined up like this yeah, and all the paint's dry. So that's, that's nice too. There, we'll just bridge that little shadow across both sides. Anyway, wow, okay, quite a bit different. I don't know what happened to my turkey. I should probably be able to fix that because that's just a case of the tape being there and not being able to see it. So I'm calling that 
and I can fix that. <laughs> so one thing I notice is that the characters kind of disappear in here. So I'm thinking that I thought about using the pencil as a liner around everything, and I already used the pencil as the whiskers in the cat's face. But I think that it would probably work better to go ahead and use some kind of liner or brush pen. So I thought about doing it also with the black paint that comes in each tube for each side. But I have a really hard time getting this brush into a thin line. So I think that it would just kind of end up being a mess. But I think this would benefit from outlining, so I'm going to do that. All right, I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to use this Kuretake pen. No other info, but it's just a black nib like that. And see what happens with this. Okay, all done, all done, all done, all done. The only thing I don't like is that when I did his eyebrow, he, I did it too close to his eye, and now he looks like he's frowning. And I don't feel like mixing up some more orange paint to fix him right now. So he looks kind of angry at the mouse, but he's not supposed to be. I don't know, maybe I'll fix it later, but probably not, knowing me. Anyway, here's our why. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard to say? Here's our RYB and our CMY comparison. Da -da -da -da. We also didn't use purples, right? Purples. So I kind of have a purple here in the roof shadow and that's it. So that's really the biggest difference between these two is the purples. They would be drastically different. Also look at the blacks, I don't know. Yeah, you can see that on screen pretty well. This one is much deeper than this one. It's kind of neat to look at the difference. This is fantasy land because we don't live in houses like that and animals don't sit like that, especially a cat and a mouse. And they're not the same size, but they are in my fantasy land. They're having dinner. Oh, I forgot to put the sign that this one is the library. I was gonna say, wait a minute, we're missing the library. <laughs> So this one has a sign. There's our library. This one doesn't have a sign. I'm thinking maybe these guys live there or this could be like eat outside restaurant. I think that would be good. That's that one sign. Okay, library, eat outside restaurant. So we have a library, little cottage, cottages and dinner. Okay, that was everything. Cool, all four prompts in one. This is fun since the colors are slightly different. I will keep them. However, I have learned I need to buy yellow if I'm going to use this so I used lots and lots of yellow. Didn't use this because I didn't need to. I already know what this is like. I'll use that in another project sometime down the road. This pencil was fine and fun. It's a pencil. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hello, hello. It is a little bit later in the month than I want it to be. <clears throat> Let's try that again. <laughs> And needed eraser by, 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 I have no idea what was going to be, but okay. Like this would probably be a good little test sample of each of these to compare the R, Y, wait, wait, how do you say that? <laughs> okay, this would probably be, I can't even, I can't even go on. Okay, I don't know why that was so funny. This would probably... This would probably be a good test to s mm, ah. This would probably be a good time to compare the R Y G wait what? Red, yellow, blue. Okay. The primary magenta is PR170 and the wait, what did I just say? Here's our YGB no.